The Cube presents HPE Discover 2022. Brought to you by HPE. Good morning, everyone. It's The Cube live in Las Vegas, day two of our coverage of HPE Discover 2022 from the Venetian Expo Center. Lisa Martin and Dave Vellante, what a day we had yesterday and today. Unbelievable. Good warm up yes. for today. Big, big day today. Big day today. Yeah. We've got a lot, we've got some big heavy hitters on talking with HPE yep. customers, partners, leadership. We have a couple of guests up with us next. Going to be talking more about the ecosystem. Please welcome Corey Dyer, the Chief Revenue Officer at Digital Realty, and Cliff Evans, Senior Director, HPE GreenLake Partner Ecosystem. Guys, great to have you on the program. Thank you, great to be here. Thank you for having us, excited to be here with you. So let's, so let's harness that excitement, Corey. Talk to us about the partnership, the announcement, what's going on there with Digital Realty uh, and GreenLake. Yeah, we're crazy excited about it. You know, there, we've got customers dealing with data gravity and the opportunity around that and how they can make use of it. And then they're thinking through digital transformation, how, how you do a multi-cloud, and they need a partnership to do that. And this partnership with GreenLake and Digital is perfect solution for them. So I'm crazy excited to be here with Cliff Absolutely. and with all of you to talk about it and hopefully build out a great partnership and relationship with HPE. Yeah. Talk to us, share your crazy excitement, Cliff. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, I think it is an absolutely fantastic partnership. I think the two of us coming together as organizations, bringing the two platforms together is an, is an amazing thing that we have for customers. Uh, customers we know, they want, they want a cloud experience but really they want to do that um, without really the, the, the DC footprint that they've had previously. So how do they do that in a way that really works for them in a secure client, you know, secure, sustainable way, but with a cloud experience. So really the combination of the two pieces coming together really makes that happen and that is what ex that's exciting. So could we dig yeah. into the, the two things that you mentioned, Corey, digital transformation and multi-cloud. When I go back to the sort of early days of cloud, it was like, oh, you know, nobody's going to do anything you know, ever again in the data center. You know, Charles Phillips, the, the CEO of Infor famously said, friends don't let friends build data centers, right? Everything's going to the <laughs> cloud. So a lot of people predicted, you know, guys like you were going to be in trouble. The exact opposite <laughs> happened. The market took off. So you mentioned digital transformation and multi-cloud. Can we peel the onion on that? What, what is it about those two items and are there other trends that are driving your business? No, no you tied right on to, to where it started. All enterprises started going to the cloud. And then they got to the cloud and there was more that they needed to make that real. I talk about multi-cloud, you're going to use different cloud providers for different opportunities and different applications. And so you have to start thinking about how does this work in a world where you're going to go to multiple clouds, multiple locations, and what it really drove is the need for co-location to make this, because you've got a distributed architecture in order to enable all of this. And then you end up having to have us help you out with it and partners like HPE. And so that's part of where it comes from. But if you think through, Going to the cloud, can you stay there? Is that the full solution? You need a secure, sustainable solution for that. One of the opportunities for us around that is that if you're, if you're building data centers for yourself on-prem, you don't have all the cloud access we do. We've got more cloud access points than anybody, so that helps in this digital transformation, right? Go ahead. How, how much home, I, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt okay. you. If you, if you no. how, how much homogeneity is there? Are, 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 are clients or customers saying, hey, I kind of want the same experience and the same infrastructure, same, same. Or are they saying, hey, I want to do stuff in digital realty that I can't get from you know, a cloud provider, Oracle Rack, you know, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. it, it, I, I would tell you that they come to us from all the partners. So we are a partner community. We are, we're not going up the stack anywhere on that. <laughs> we, do our, we do our part. We're really good at doing the data centers. <laughs> really good at building data, data centers that's sustainable. Um, our position in the market is sustainability around it. We were the first to, to, to sign up on the science-based initiatives uh, for zero kind of carbon neutrality in, 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 in the future in 2030. Um, and so, yeah, so I think there's the partner aspect that they need help with on it uh, to drive that. Mm, yeah, and I think from the, from the HP GreenLake perspective, I, you know, I think customers, they very much want that, that cloud experience, um, but yeah, they want to do it on their own terms. Uh, the partnership allows that to happen and, and happen simply. Um, you know, the cloud experience and with the, with the GreenLake cloud platform to really go and deliver that genuine cloud experience and then building cloud services on top of that, they would get all the benefits that they would have from a public cloud experience, but you know, done in the way that they would prefer to do it. So it's bringing those pieces together. And, and I think the other side of it, you asked if it was, if it was the same across the board and, and ubiquitous. Uh, it's very bespoke solutions that we can do, mm -hmm. right? Every customer we have has a different footprint 
Mm. Most of them are multinationals. So we think through where their data is, mm. where it needs to be accessed, where their customers are, where their employees are, mm. and what makes the most sense. Mm. And then the partnership we have with HPE mm. can do a whole lot for making a very bespoke solution for that customer and, and help them be successful yeah, on their cloud I'll, journey. I'm sorry, yeah, and so, so on that, yeah, so, so what we've done at HPE um, uh, with Digital Realty is we have a specific offer around how we go to market with this to really go and help customers. So we call it GreenLake with co-location, uh, and it's all about really positioning uh, an offer to customers that says, look, we can go and do this with you and do it simply and really make it happen very quickly and efficiently. Um, so the customer ends up with a single contract and a single invoice um, for GreenLake, cloud services, and the co-location piece all in one single contract. So it just makes it a lot, lot easier in terms of organizing. And a really big part of that as well is that our involvement is also spans right from the design to the implementation to support. So we do the whole thing to really help organizations go off and do this. So that's the big, for me, the big differentiator. So rather than just having GreenLake and cloud services, we're saying, look, we can now do the colo piece and now you can really take the whole thing to a whole new level in terms of that public cloud experience. What's it, in the, sorry, and that, yeah. in, sorry that, and that invoice comes from HPE it or its partners, HPE. and digital realty is bundled into that. Correct, correct? yeah, so we correct. do it direct, sorry. we do it through the channel, we can sell that in a number of different ways, yeah? Mm. And customers get that, that single invoice. <laughs> and a big part of that as well, just going a little bit deeper on that, so what we do is we, we use a part of the company called uh, Data Center Technology Services, which are a great kind of consulting organization with tremendous experience, done something like 3,000 projects, across 40 countries, from the very smallest to the very largest of data center implementations. So all of that really makes the whole thing a lot easier from a customer's perspective in terms of designing, implementing, and then supporting. So you pull all of that together, and it's fantastic. And, and I think it's really changed to add on to that partnering perspective. Sure. So customers now are thinking about it differently and data centers differently, and they see us as a strategic partner, along with HPE to go after this. It used to be space, power, and cooling. Now it's how much connectivity do you have? What's your sustainability profile? And what's your security profile? And how do you secure this data? Because sure. data is the lifeblood of all these companies, mm -hmm. and you have to have a really secure, sustainable solution for them. Right, that's absolutely yeah. critical for every industry. Talk about the, the, the specific value prop that a bespoke co-location solution delivers to customers. Maybe you've got a favorite customer example that you think really articulates the value yeah. of this partnership. Yeah, so I think there's a, there's a combination. So, so I think we touched on a lot of it actually. So there's obviously the data center aspect itself in terms of, um, so with the footprint that digital realty have across the world, you can pick and choose the data center and the class of data center that you want in terms of your uh, you know, latency and connectivity that you want. Um, and then really it's the GreenLake piece in terms of the flexibility that you get with that really is that value. And as I touched on the GreenLake with Colo, uh, I think for me is, from our perspective, I think the biggest piece of value that we provide there to really go make it happen, yeah? There's about um, 70 applications right now that are part of GreenLake Colo that you can bespoke for what you need to. You can think around your specific solutions that you need and we've got it all right there with HPE. Uh, GreenLake and, and Colo for us. And because we have a 290 data center footprint across 50 markets, it gives us the opportunity to really be the data center provider and the partner for HP mm -hmm. pretty much anywhere, but with connectivity everywhere. When you say 70 applications, are these the 70 services, or are you talking That's about That's what I'm something? talking about. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. yeah, yeah. 18 and, categories, 70 services, and, there's a lot of stuff. And, yeah. and Corey, when you, <laughs> you've talked about sustainability a couple of times as a really mm -hmm. important ingredient of the mm -hmm. customer decision. Mm -hmm. Why? Is it because they're indirectly paying the power bill or is it because the, it's the right thing to do and they care, there's, a, there's an increase, people care about it more? Because you, know, you go back a while ago and people, you know, we always talked about green IT, but it was all lip service. Is that changing or is, it there, it, is there an economic It's reason? changing in a real big way. Um, almost every conversation I have with customers is, how are we doing sustainability? Okay. So if they're doing it on-prem, that's not their core capabilities. They don't know how to do that. On our end, I mentioned our, our science-based initiatives that we signed up for, right? But how do we enable that? We enable it for how do we build and design our data centers? How do we actually work them and operate them? And then how do we go after all the green sources of sustainable energy, right? Including, um, I think since 2015, we've issued six billion in green bonds around that same support of it. So yeah. And, 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 and your customer can then, I presume, report that on their sustainability report. So it, it a, a, right a good way to think about it is, is you, you no longer have your data center at its sometimes less efficient way than we, than we are. We're really good at building sustainable data centers. And then you can actually get some credits back and forth. 
Got it. Uh, and, and just from a Green Lake perspective, so, so Green Lake, so there's a, a specific Forrester impact report that looks at Green Lake uh, and how it, how it performs from a sustainability perspective. And, and Green Lake really is giving you their 30% reduction in your energy um, consumption. So, you know, there's a big kind of win there as well, I think, which is then, yeah, it's very important. For, why, yeah. why, where does that come from? So it's, it's in part the kind of the avoidance of over-provisioning, yeah, such that you go and right size things. And then you have, you have you, you have a certain amount of reserve capacity that you're using and then just using the extra consumption piece when you need it. So rather than having everything running at full speed, it really is kind of throttling as to how that works. So you get a combination of effects. Uh, yeah? if, if, with, the, with the consulting and the, the thoughtfulness around this bespoke solution that you have, you end up needing fewer servers, fewer technology, that drives less power, that consumption, and therefore yeah, yeah, you yeah. get a lot of this savings out yeah, there. Yeah. If you really base it down. You yeah. talked about the savings, you talked about the simplification and yes. from a delivery perspective. Talk yes. about the implementation. What's the time to value that organizations can glean from this partnership? Yeah, no, it's super fast. So, so yeah, this, this does accelerate the whole process, yeah? From, from you know, initial kind of opportunity, if you like, and customer inquiry through to actual implementation. So previously this would take considerable amount of time in terms of toing and froing between multiple organizations. Um, and now what we do is coordinate that to do it efficiently and effectively. So our DCTS, Data Center Technology Services team, work very closely with Digital Realty, have those connections to go off and do those things incredibly quickly. And it does, it accelerates the whole timeline. And, and they're tied in with our team as well around where's yeah. the latency, where are the yeah, solutions? Yeah. Because we're really thinking about what, what does your stack look like from an HPE perspective, but then where do you need to deploy it so that you have access to the cloud, so you have the right proper latency across your, your environment, and you really have a, a distributed architecture that works the best for you and your company. So this is probably, an answer to this question is probably both, but, but I'm asking it anyway. Uh -huh. I've, I've always been a repatriation skeptic, but I'm happy to be proven wrong if you guys have other data. And maybe this is part of what I'm, my, one of my blind spots. Question is, is, is what's driving your business in terms of the use case? Is it organizations saying, hey, we want to get out of the data center business, mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. we don't want to put everything into the cloud, but we're going to go to Digital Realty and mm -hmm, HPE mm -hmm, and HPE mm -hmm, GreenLake, mm -hmm. and we're going to move I into that colo, or is it people saying, oh wow, we over-rotated into the cloud, and yeah. now we're going to come back. So it's both, it's both. Yeah. I knew it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how, in the blame pie or the credit <laughs> the, pie. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think yeah. there were a lot of customers with good intentions on going to the cloud, right? And then there, there's some cost with it that maybe they didn't fully factor in it at that time. And now you've got the ability around these bespoke solutions to really right size every bit of this. And when they originally did it, they didn't think through a distributed architecture. They thought, mm. my on-prem, and then I'm just going to burst everything to the cloud. Mm. That's no longer the case, and it's not really the most efficient way, to your point about repatriation. They start pulling their storage back in. Well, where do you want your data? Where do you want your storage? You want it as close as you can to mm. the clouds for that capability, and in a solution that's wrapped around that makes mm. it very simple for you. Yeah, I think the, the repatriation is very real and is increasing. Um, so we're seeing a lot of it um, in terms of activity and, and and customers really trying to understand the cost that they're incurring now from a public cloud perspective and how can they do that differently. And in fact, with the combined offer that we have, it makes it a lot easier to compare. So yeah, that really is accelerating. Because right you now. don't see it in the macro numbers. I mean, just to be honest with you, you see the cloud guys combined growing 35%. And is that because your business is in transition from a, a traditional on-prem model to an as-a-service model, and so you've got that Im imbalance, and, yeah, yeah. and it gets hidden in all that. Yeah, and right? I, think it's, I think it's a new wave of things that are happening, yeah? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things, obviously, that make complete and utter sense to be in public cloud, but I do think there's been an over-rotation towards it. Mm. Um, so I think there's now that realization, and it's going to take time to kind of unpick that, uh, but it's absolutely happening. There are a lot of opportunities that we've got and some very big ones I'd love to talk about, but can't quite talk about them just yet. But really where there's big, big savings in terms of you know, what they're paying on a, from a public cloud perspective. And really what they want is that full management cloud service to go make it happen. So the combination yeah, of the data center piece, the GreenLake piece, and then some management services, whether they're from ourselves or from our, our you know, partner community from managed service providers that we also work with, that gives them the complete package. So I have another premise. I mean, sure. a lot of IT, of course, has is, is, you know, traditionally been focused on internal, and, and I feel like there's a new era coming, and it talks to the ecosystem. Are you seeing customers not only running their IT in digital realty and mm -hmm. connecting to the cloud in a hybrid fashion, but also actually building new value and building businesses that are customer facing on that, that are monetizable? Are you seeing that? Is that happening? And I don't know if you have any examples, even generically. Uh, uh, real, real basic from, from our perspective. Sure. 
um, our partner community, that's what they do. We have a ton of enterprise customers that all need to connect and, and integrate. The data that you have doesn't do anything for you if it's on its own and it's not interacting with other data points and it's not interacting with other customers, other solutions and whatnot. So yeah, it does help build out a, a partner community, a solution community for our customers uh, in, in our data centers and across the board. Are, are there industry patterns emerging? In other words, is, is it sort of data ecosystems emerging by industry or is it sort of more horizontal? Uh, there's a mix. So I think there's a lot of, lot of financial sector stuff, yes, yeah, certainly, yeah. yeah, and then certainly manufacturing, yeah. Um, so I think it's interesting that you're getting a bit of a combination, but a lot of, yeah, a lot of financial sector. Which of those, of course the big banks early yeah, yeah. on thought they could build their own cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they're probably rethinking that. And yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe well, we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, 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 they're also service providers when you're that large as, as a bank on their end. They're doing a lot of work. They're doing um, a lot of work, across yeah. It. yeah. I would also say the other part that a lot of people see as an opportunity is around all the HPC and AI yeah. applications mm. as well, in yeah, addition yeah, yeah. to manufacturing, distribution. So there's a lot of use cases and a lot of reasons why customers ought to be doing this with us. Wrap us right. up with the, with the value props. Say you're talking to a, a large financial services organization or a manufacturing company. What is that 30 second elevator pitch value prop of why they should go HPE, GreenLake, and Digital Realty together? So I would say uh, GreenLake with co-location gives you a single contract, single invoice, easy to go and design, implement, support, and go make happen. Sorry, that's a very yeah. simple way of saying it. It's a very it just makes way. it easy. <laughs> and, and I would just say thank you on that. It's been great to speak with you guys. And uh, yeah, the, the, when you think through that part of it, it also is a bespoke opportunity to put your data where it needs to be, closest to your customers, closest to the action. You were thinking through the repatriation of it. A lot of it's being built out there on phones and whatnot. Mm. So you've got to think through where your data is and how you manage yeah, it. Makes sense. You know, right. Absolutely. And enable every every company and every industry to be a data company because that's what of course the demanding consumers demand. Absolutely. And that demand isn't absolutely. it's not going to turn down, right? No, absolutely. It's not. No, it's just accelerating. Guys, thanks so much for joining right. David. Thank you very this morning, much. Great. Thanks, about guys. What you're doing Thank you. Thanks. together in the ecosystem. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Good, one. Good job, guys. Thank for you. For our guests and Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from the Venetian Expo Center in Vegas, baby. Dave and I will be back <laughs> with our next guest in a minute.